Well, the relationship with Jimmy and Fender, I think the love of Fender started out uh, when Jimmy first really started playing guitar. You know, he admired the Fender Strat. It was very sexy. The sounds that came out of it is something that he was trying to really harness or let loose, however you want to look at it. I know that as the story goes, in the 60s, Jimmy picked up a Strat and decided to start playing it. And it was right about the time that Fender was trying to decide if they were going to let it go or not. But when Jimmy picked it up and changed the world as we know music and the electric guitar, then the world embraced the Stratocaster. With the when he passed away, one of his former girlfriends had brought a stack of handwritten lyrics and writings. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this should be in a book for people to see. I was like, everyone should see this. So she said, well, you know, I would like to keep the originals, but I'll, I'll give you copies. And I said, okay. So she made copies for me and I put them in a hope chest. And there were people that had in their hope chests handwritten lyrics and handwritings from hotel, stationaries, airline napkins and, and regular legal pads. I just was like, I don't need the originals, but I would love to have a copy. So uh, it was just a journey of collecting. And so in that 12 by 12 lyric book, you can touch, feel, and really get a sense of where he was at mentally, perhaps, maybe spiritually. I think that it's a beautiful piece for any, not only fan, but any collector or anyone that loves to write songs or just wants to have a little bit of Jimmy in their home. The Illustrated Hendrix, growing up, my dad had a box. My dad was very good about keeping things of importance. He wasn't ever um, a cluttered hoarder or anything like that, but he, he kept things like certain art pieces. He had kept all of Jimmy's drawings and paintings and sketches. This box was so, to me, um, just kind of, I guess, touching Jimmy's hand and, and really getting to know him better as a sister. And so I was so glad my dad hung on to that because I said when, when this idea came about to do an interactive book, to have handbills and tickets and photos, my dad had a great deal of the collection. Photos that Jimmy took when he was in 101st Airborne, drawings that he had done, postcards that he had written, letters that he had written home. And I thought that this would just be great for fans to be able to see, but also to have a collection of it. It's almost like a museum in a box, really. She comes to me. When artists in the past or present or, of course, future that we haven't seen yet, when they pay homage or honor to Jimmy, it's, it's such an honor for us as a family. Um, I can imagine Jimmy looking down and smiling that people do still remember him because his one quest, his one, one request of people were for them to hear his music. Since his music is still resonating and it's still ringing throughout the universe, as musicians come and go, they also carry a bit of Jimmy with them because they've all studied, they've all heard, they've all embraced and opened their heart to his music. And so much of his music still hasn't been heard and we are still giving that um, as Jimmy gave it and left it as a gift for people.